Hello, this is Farrell. Welcome to my video, YouTube channel, and all that stuff. This little painting here I did uh, maybe like a week or two ago, and just thought I'd include it here. Uh, I did it ever since the last session, or the last video. Um, this is page 10, too. I'm starting on page 10 this time. You can see me ruling out the borders. I usually use the previous page or an earlier page as like a guide to just get the you know my little hash marks on the on the ends of the page, and then I use a ruler to kind of get them all straight. And this comic's weird because I'm not, uh, it's like the first comic I've done like this where I don't rule out the borders first with ink. I'm just leaving all the borders blank and just letting the color kind of designate the end of the each panel. Um, I mean, I have a pencil line, like a visible pencil line on left on them too, but uh, I don't know why I just just felt like it kind of the story just I don't know it's it's a lot like it will hurt or the wrenchies like sort of like the future world they're in it's like that same universe but uh this it just kind of felt right I don't know why because I'm I'm still ruling out all that not ruling but <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> inking all the lettering and stuff and uh not all of the artwork either I'm I'm uh usually the main character or whatever's in the foreground I'll I'll lay down some pen marks, but I won't, uh, I don't ink everything on it. And that's, that's kind of a shift from most of the way I've done comics previously. Usually I'll pencil everything first, ink everything and color everything. This one I wanted to feel a little more organic and still kind of have it, the artwork be clean, really clean. Like I'm, the pages, I'm making an effort to not have them all be smudgy and sloppy and, um, Usually I'll, I'll sit on, on pages for a long time in the pencil stages. And this, this one I wanted to just kind of have me more immediate. That's why I'm doing this 20 minutes a day thing. So here you can kind of see the pencils a little more refined. I started off super rough. And then uh, each session I'll get, you know, a little, you know, a race. And, you know, and kind of see the, the pencil lines I made there before. And kind of go in a little deeper and darker with them. Uh, make sure the lettering's all right. And I change the script and dialogue as I go. I mean, I have it all written out on my phone. So, I, like, before I start the camera, I'll, I'll uh, transfer any dialogue down to a piece of paper. And as I'm doing that, I'm changing it as I'm writing it on the scrap paper. And then from the scrap paper to the page, I'm also changing the dialogue uh, up until the point when I start to ink it. And this page, too, you can see a little later that... Uh, actually uh have a uh a couple of words written on the side that i might insert in through photoshop i'm not not sure yet but um i just kind of have to read it out loud to myself all at once and then as i'm going through you know going through all the pages later and much later in photoshop when i'm getting ready for print I'll, i might make more changes too but um yeah there's there's a close-up of fern fells like the first real cl close-up of her face it's a profile but um, it's the first time we really see her, uh, what, what she looks like, you know, her hat even blew off in the explosion, but she gets this phone call at the same time the, at, you know, she sees the wizard place blowing up and it's, uh, I don't, I don't think I say who it is yet. I'm, I kind of had in my mind that it's her sister, but, um, I have this kind of big plan for it, big reveal for it in the next trade. So she won't even meet up with, with her in this. And not in this issue or in this whole series, this whole first series, uh, this arc, I guess is what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever is collected into a trade. I have like a six issue series plan for this, this book. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to keep doing it. And here you can see that I, I've actually lettered it. I, I usually do that first um, before I start uh, doing all the watercolors and the inks and everything I'll, I'll letter it but I think yeah this time I lettered it and then started working on her the close-up and then the rest of it I'm leaving pretty much uninked I may add some ink some black stuff and uh black stuff I, I might add some black watercolor to it uh but I, I think I stopped inking once I I don't even think I, I used my uh indie ink with this I just used a fabric has still pit pen to, to do the inking and then the rest of it I'm um, watercoloring 
And yeah, so as I previously mentioned, I'm not going to ink those borders, like I haven't on any of the other pages. And it's looking really completed here, very close to being done. Um, see, like Robot Todd, you zoom, we're zooming in on the little magnifying glass there that she's not really paying attention to. And we can see Robot Todd's actually flying or being shot out of the explosion. I, I'm, I was thinking that something happened in there, you know, where he like caused all this explosion and caused a kind of like a chain reaction and made all like the chemicals and magic spells in the wizard's tower just sort of like blow everything up and like shoot them out and uh, I was thinking like I mentioned it before this is kind of like sort of like Wizard of Oz or something like that's sort of what I had in mind when I was when I was writing this and um like him being kind of like the Dorothy character and uh so like the wizards you know the Wicked Witch of the East and West. They're like East Wizard and West Wizard. And yeah, so he's he's being shot out of the tower and the next page we're going to see him fall to the ground. And Fern's not even going to notice that, you know, she's so wrapped up in uh, her phone call that she doesn't see the, you know, but she mentions on this page that, uh, or on the next page that she uh, followed this this little robot to the this wizard's tower and that uh I, I think it actually is on this page she says east ham i'm all the way on west ham so uh yeah here i'm doing a little uh i'm having a, a signing at um with some with some folks for carol's ring at uh cosmic monkey on saturday tomorrow um so i just i just i'm pulling out some of my old books and gonna try to sell them there but i'm doing little sketches in each book as like, uh, and I guess an example. So <laughs> if you want to get like a, a sketch of like Tad or this is Tad right here, the character from the wrenchies, it doesn't talk, uh, that, you know, that's basically what it would look like me sitting at a table in front of you drawing. And this is a Proxima Centauri. I think I d uh, did shaky decided to do the, uh, Space Wizard, Shaky, who's not really the main character in the story. It's Sherwood, but I felt like Sherwood and Tad have such like a similar haircut that I just like, eh, I want to draw someone that looks a little different. Um, they're not like dressed the same or anything, but I just felt like drawing Shaky. So I, I do that sometimes. Like I'll, I'll either draw Dog or Marcy or, you know, someone. I, Sherwood's my default when I sign a Proxima Centauri, but uh, also take requests if someone was like, "Oh, I want, I want to draw, I want you to draw like a fish or something." I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's your book. Uh, so uh, as long as it's not like too complicated or something I haven't drawn before, the only reason I can do any any of this freehand sketching without penciling is that I uh, I've drawn these characters so many times and like poses. There's Emily from Popcorn War, and she's like the star of the second volume of Popcorn War, but. Yeah, so here's the pretty much finished page. I uh, um, I think I might have one more session after this. Right? I touched it up, but um, that is pretty much how it's going to look. And here is uh, the next session. You can kind of see my daily schedule that I never adhere to. There, it's kind of embarrassing. So I didn't mean to have that exposed like that. But um, uh, if you want a little insight you can try to zoom in on that but i also uh here you can see the little thumbnails that i or not thumbnails but the little chicken scratch that i transferred from my phone and ruled out the border this is page 11 it's like the halfway point of the first issue it's very exciting um to me anyway maybe not, <laughs> not to anyone else but uh i felt like that's a big big deal to me after sitting on this for like years and i'm actually like halfway through the first issue it, it it's really exciting i can see my end goal in sight it's um little little things like that kind of help motivate me to to finish things and here i'm kind of going in and re the first session this is the second session the first session i just basically scribbled everything in and i was like okay this is roughly where i want this to go these word balloons go like composition wise i did like a really bad drawing of fern that's I, I still haven't finished you can see i'm redrawing robot todd flying through the air, you know, trying to get him, get the flailing pose right. And uh, I'm not really referencing anything. I'm just kind of trying to 
do whatever feels right. But all right, that's the end of the video this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.